Hello. Today we're going to continue our series on F1 power units by talking about the control electronics. There are actually two control electronics as part of an F1 power unit. The control electronics K and the control electronics H. And as you can imagine, one's associated with the MGUK and one associated with the MGUH. What the control electronics does is take the energy from either the K or the H in the format that it's presented and convert it into an energy format that can be stored in the batteries. And then it can do exactly the opposite. Take the energy storage format of the battery and convert that into the energy that the MGUKs can use to then deploy that energy. Unlike many other elements of the PU, the driver is only allowed two control electronics, but it is the same that if you use more than those two, you will take a grid penalty. The control electronics is the top half of this module. We call it the ERS module. And as you can imagine, with the engine at the back of the tub, it's actually underneath where the driver sits. The control electronics is the link between the MGUs and the battery, and that's how it interacts as part of the power unit. In order for the control electronics to work, there is an awful lot of processing going on, and there must be a huge amount of processing power. The processors in the control electronics are making millions of calculations every second. I'm told that over the course of a race, there are 43 trillion calculations made within the control electronics. The performance of the control electronics is all about efficiency. You want every single bit of energy that comes from the power unit to be stored in the battery and every single joule of energy that's in the battery to get back to the power unit. You don't want any of that energy wasted. So control electronics, it's all about the efficiency of that conversion. And that's where the development has been over the course of the power unit's life. Every Mercedes, electric vehicle or hybrid, will have a control electronics within it, operating in a very similar way to the one in the F1 power unit. As I've said, the performance of the control electronics is all about efficiency. But even at the high levels of efficiency that we do run, there is some waste heat, and we have to manage that waste heat. To do that, we use Petrodes Tutela, which takes the heat from the elements that are creating it to a radiator so that it can be cooled. The control electronics makes up the top half of this ERS module with the battery in the bottom half of the module. I hope you found that insight into the control electronics interesting. In the next episode, we'll talk about the energy store.